Good morning, everyone. I'm Aaron from Class 4D. I'm Janelle from Class 4D. This morning, we continue to revise mathematics vocabulary. Last time, we talked about measuring the length and the width of a basketball court in meters. Actually, we can also use meters to measure distances. That's right. But when it comes to long distances, we will only use kilometers. I sometimes walk to Wan Chai after school. You know what? The distance from Causeway Bay to Wan Chai is about two kilometers. Then do you remember when to use centimeters and millimeters? Sure. They are used to measure small objects or spaces. For example, we use centimeters when measuring the size of a paper or a book. How about millimeters? Millimeters is used to measure even smaller objects or space, such as jewelry. That's right. To better understand these measurement units, we should know that one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters, and one meter is equal to one hundred centimeters, and one centimeter is equal to ten millimeters. For kilometers, we can use its short form km, while for meters, it is ab. Abbreviated to m. Centimeters is abbreviated to cm, while millimeters is abbreviated to mm. Let's recap the vocabulary. Kilometers are used to measure longer distances. For example, the distance between Causeway Bay and Wan Chai. Meters are used to measure shorter lengths or large objects like the basketball court. Centimeters and millimeters are used to measure smaller objects or spaces. That's, That's all, all for, for today. today. Thanks. Thanks.